My name is Morgan Bonds. I am a senior trainer at Physique 57, and today I'm going to lead you through a quick stretch you can do to help relieve stress and promote restful sleep. So going ahead and getting started here, find yourself in your space, just comfortably. You can sit either cross-legged or on your shins, and we'll start with some deep breaths, maybe placing one hand on your chest, one hand on your core, taking a nice inhale, feeling your body expand like a balloon and exhaling, letting everything deflate. Taking this a couple of times, big breath in, inhale, yes, and exhale. Feel free to close your eyes, setting yourself up in your space. We'll do two more breaths here. Inhale, open. and exhale, letting go. One more time, inhale, big inflation. Exhale, let it go. And just sitting with yourself for a moment here, hands resting, close your eyes, and we'll do a quick scan from head to toe. Seeing how your body feels, Noticing any areas that may need just a little extra TLC or attention today. Notice if you're holding tension in your jaw, in your neck, in your shoulders. Now let's try to practice letting that go for just these few moments here. When you're feeling ready, go ahead and take a big circle around with your neck. Whatever direction you'd like to get started, Big circle, still feeling your shoulders dropping, trying to get every bit of that range of motion. Letting it feel good and open. Let's go ahead and take that circle the other way, circling your neck, finding that equal and opposite circle in the other direction. Let's take one more. And then finding center here, still feeling your breath. You're gonna let your head tilt to one side and then gently let your top hand fall onto your head. Not pressing down, just letting the weight of your arm feel a little bit of a stretch in your neck. We can let our opposite arm just fall and sway there. One of my favorites here, especially with all the screen time we're getting lately, feeling that release in your neck and your shoulder. Whenever you feel ready, letting that fall to the other side, head falls, switch your arm, let the weight of your arm rest on your head. Let your opposite arm hang and swing. Feeling a couple of inhales and exhales there. Allowing it to feel good, allowing it to create space. Good, and moving on, gently finding center. Clasp your hands behind you, feel your heart open, chest open. <sighs> Opening up through the front of the shoulder, the collarbones, you can gently let that move. And continuing forward here, just gently, pressing your palms forward, feeling a light stretch through the front of the arm, through the wrist just as much as you can handle here, nice and light. And I'll move to the side so we can see here. Flipping your palms over, you're gonna come onto your shins and we'll take a cat cow. So just big and dramatic here, arching your back and rounding your back. Whatever tempo feels good for your spine, arching and rounding, feeling the articulation through your back, and through each of your vertebrae. Yes, and we'll continue by opening our knees just slightly, falling into a child's pose, letting your chest be heavy. And then another scan here, head to toe, feeling space through your pelvis, through your low back, through your spine, your shoulders, your neck, your arms and let yourself live there for a couple of breaths, 
each exhale letting you go a little closer to the floor, knowing that it will never feel perfect. It's a process. And we let it take us where it takes us, falling down. When you feel ready to move, gently flipping over and laying onto our back. So let's start with a compression of the hips, letting your head, neck and chest fall. Hug your legs in. Feel a real compression of your hip joint there, of your pelvis, and gently rocking side to side. Should feel nice. From there, we'll cross one foot over the other thigh, making a figure four shape, pulling gently from underneath in. And again, you can rock that gently side to side, letting your head still feel heavy, feeling the tension release from your body. You'll bend both knees, let them fall to one side and open your chest in an open spinal twist feeling the opposition between the upper and lower halves of the body, living there for as long as you'd like before taking it to the other side. Opposite foot crosses over the other thigh, pulling in gently from underneath, feeling the stretch going to the side of the hip, the side of the leg, maybe through your opposite hamstring, rocking gently letting it feel good. Bend both knees, this time letting your spinal twist fall the opposite direction. Nice open chest, legs falling one way, chest and heart going the other. Ah, finding your exhale. And when you're ready, again, bringing your feet center, just letting them plant. We're gonna let our low back and our hips find a little extra space here. Love this one. So you're gonna take your hands, press your thighs away, inhale, and exhale, push. So you automatically feel a little more length through our low back, a little more space through your pelvis, through your hip joint. And I'll do that a couple of times here. Release, inhale. Exhale, press your thighs away, create that space. And why not? Let's do this one more time here today. Inhaling, exhaling, pushing your thighs away, feeling the space through your back. And we'll take our final stretch here, just letting your legs fall heavy and long can give them a gentle shake. Feeling your points of contact with the floor here, the back of your head, your shoulders, your tailbone, your calves, and your heels. Letting your head be heavy, close your eyes, and we'll take the same breaths we started with. Inhaling, letting your body expand, and exhaling, letting all of those points of contact on the floor Get just a little heavier. Two more deep breaths to finish here. Inhaling. And exhaling. Letting it fall. Not being afraid to make some noise one more time. Inhaling. And exhaling, letting it fall. Staying there as long as you'd like. Thanks so much for stretching with me today.